the real skill is to take your earliest map, produce it at something like 1 to 10,000, 1 to 25,000, and then leap backwards and try and draw yourself a map of 1,500, 1,200, 800. I, I recommend glasses of Cabernet Sauvignon to do this because it sort of helps the, the, the thinking process. And uh, I, I remember seeing you with sheets of um, tracing paper. Oh yeah, well I'm very old fashioned to you now. No, but, but you, you'd got your tracing paper, you'd drawn the roads from the earlier map, yeah. and then the yeah. same scale, and then yeah. you'd drop them over the modern map so you could sort yeah. of see some of those early patterns. Yeah, well if you, I mean, it, it, it's part, it's that business about when you take a photograph, you don't see the detail. If you paint it or sketch it, you do. And the same applies to this sort of work. If you get a computer program to adjust the maps, you don't see the detail. If you laboriously copy one map to another one, in other words, you start with a modern map, you put a piece of tracing paper on and you c copy the 1887 map. And you call this retrospective... Re re uh, re regressive map analysis. Regressive yeah. map analysis. But there always has to be the glass of Cabernet Sauvignon to the right-hand side. Mick. Two glasses of Cabernet Sauvignon, one map. Thank you very much. You have to go off and film. Two glasses, but one map. We'll come back each, and we'll ask some more questions of evening. Two glasses, on. one map. Each evening. Two glasses, one map. Oh,